Yes, yeah, this is what happens when you build one of these things. You end up with uh, bits everywhere. Ooh, look at him out there. Ooh, what a face. Just delivered this wiper motor uh, complete. So what I'm going to do is pull this apart and see if the parking slider block is in this one. It's the one that came with the car is in awfully better condition than this and it's only done 27,000 miles so it won't have had that much usage. Let's, uh, let's go into the garage and get this one apart. Job one, get these out. I can't find my 6.4, probably a quarter socket so it's going to be adjustable span to get this, move this <laughs> grease hazard. And there's the uh, the one that came off the car. Right, let's get it open. Now you're going to see <laughs> the same time as I'm going to see this. I haven't looked in here yet. Fingers crossed. That, if we can see it, is the slider block. And the one on the one that came with the car didn't possess such a thing. So I'll see if I can start swapping things over. Get this one functioning. Right, by the looks of it, it looks like this is going to be a common fault on these things. That arm there attaches to this slider block. Get it down there. So that goes across and hits that switch there which parks it. So that should be attached to that. Uh, so not only well I've got the block, I need to figure out some way of replacing that, or at least fixing it. Now I believe that's what it should look like. I've done two little tacks. One there, one there, and that supports this. So we'll fit that up. Obviously, I'm going to have to do a little bit more to build it up a wee bit, but we'll see how that one goes. You are not going to believe the amount of grease and muck and slops around here. Right, that is the setup. As you've seen, I've welded this little arm onto there. So I reckon this is going to be a common fault on the TR7. It's very, very thin there. And obviously it just age hardens and then snaps. But I think if you order the slider, um, part of this, it probably will come with that. Um, so I'm just going to put the cover back on. Um, you see how greasy that is compared to this one? Mm, don't really understand that. But I think the parking switch is broken on this one. So that's presumably why this was a bend. So what I'll do, um, it all does fit in. And that's the parking switch there. So I'll put the cover back on, um, and tomorrow I'll uh, fit it onto the car and see whether it parks. Here we go. Right, connected up. Not placed in its bracket yet, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I know not ideal across a battery, but it's connected up. Uh, tomorrow, if it does work, I'm going to put the, uh, the guide tube on and clean some of those wheel boxes up. I think there's only one wheel box I need to clean up, which is the one I took out of here, which I had to destroy the, the thread to get it out. Right, so... Oh! With any look... It's dark in here! Hang on! Oh, don't start it. Right. Wipers. It runs. Oh. 
Oh, but does it park? <laughs> yes. Uh, one wipe. Don't know whether you can hear that. It parks. There you go. So, have any of you got any issues with that type of a wiper motor? Um, you probably know what to do now. I think my advice would be just get a, a direct replacement because um, all that. I'm not sure if that well's going to hold, um, but the car should not be running or won't be running the rain, rain, rain anyway. Uh, so it works. Oh, bit of cleaning up in the kitchen to do now. So um, tatty bye from rather a dark North Wales. Ooh.